Hi guys. Hi guys. It's Pauline and Pope, and um, we're gonna be doing the haul that all the the stuff that we bought from Nagoya. Nagoya. Ah. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Hey guys, it's Pope. Hi, <laughs> it's Pauline. And today we're gonna be doing a haul shot from all of the stuff that we got from Osaka. Yeah. So. If you still haven't done it, pause the video and go get yourself some tea or popcorn because <laughs> this is gonna be a long yeah, one. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a long one, you guys. Um, yeah. We bought um, stuff basically divided into three types. Ones are the ones from Super Nintendo World, ones are from the Harry Potter World, and also some other stuff that we got from Dendin Town. Yes, yes. Alright, so where do we start? Do you want to go first? Do you want to rock this if we refer? Uh, you know what? Maybe we should go through it like chronologically, see if you can remember what are the stuff that we got and see how it goes from there. Really? I don't remember. Uh, I remember the very first thing that we got, definitely. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll start off with mine first. Um, so the first thing that we got was actually this one. Um, from the gacha from the machine. Oh, yeah. Um, the moment that we landed in Osaka, I was like, oh, we saw this um, vending machine. Yeah, it was the most peculiar looking vending machine, too. Because um, normally, if you see like a gacha machine, they usually have the ones where you insert the coin and then you turn it. This one was more like a vending machine type. And this one's the Monster Hunter Cute series, uh, where you have like the sleeping monsters and. I think the first cup that we got was actually a Rathalos. It's a baby Rathalos over here. This sweet. I haven't opened it yet because um, I honestly don't know where to place him. I want to put him inside the PC like you know Sleeping Beast. Because um, Bullen has the Patronus one from the Funko Pop. And I'm thinking this will be a nice homage to it too. Like you know we have like sleeping monsters or beasts inside the PC. Because you know our PC is pretty much like a beast. Oh yeah, so this is the first one that we got and then after we dropped off our stuff at the hotel, the first thing that we went to was actually the Mina Lima. Mina Lima. So oh yeah, God. this one you could um, go. Going, going into Mina Lima, it's really hard to choose what to get and plus the fact that it's not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> So these are the stuff that I got. So the first one that I picked out, like I've been holding on to it ever since I started the the walking in there. Is this one? Um, it's the chocolate frog that has um, Albus Dumbledore, the the actually the first actor. Is it Richard something? Ah, uh, Richard, right? Richard, I remember it was Richard. I don't remember. But anyways, it's it's him in, in the chocolate frog cart and I really like it because, you know, we all somewhat agree that he's the perfect Dumbledore and um, that's something to remember him by. And then afterwards, I also picked out the line journal for um, the advanced potion making so this book the sizing and thickness like looks exactly like the rep like the, the ones that they used in the movie um, the set sadly the inside is just line paper it's not even um, there's not even one or two page of of what's actually inside the book it's just like a plain notebook but um i still love it it still look very much like the replica of the of the potion book well, someday i want to get the actual replica and then the next thing i got is this one I haven't even opened it. Oh yeah, that looks like fresh fresh, huh? Yeah. This is the tea towel of the Daily Prophet. The, the Harry Potter 
undesirable number one. one. So that's the newspaper that um, they used in, inside the movie. It's very nice. I like the thickness of it. Yeah. Um, they do have the poster version of this, but um, Pope was saying that it would be nicer to have the cloth version because it doesn't fade and. Yeah, you can actually like store it well. Like you know, you don't have to worry about like tearing, or you have to worry about like, you know, how the humidity changes in the weather and the seasons and stuff. Yeah. Like the paper would normally warp if it's too wet. But I I like the fact that they did the little gold um paint on the on the top. Oh yeah, the gold so paint. So it's look yeah. somewhat more than just a tea towel. Yeah, this one I like. Yeah. When we finally have our own place, this will be like. Yeah, a... if we have our own room of like to display our collections, then probably this will be. This will be on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for you. Okay. Then the next one I got is the Ministry of Magic, um, proclamations and wanted posters. So this is actually just postcards. It's small, um, but I was thinking if I get the big ones, it's gonna be consume too much storage space. Yeah, it will be too much storage space. Oh, I like like the pattern on the inside. So that's like a bunch of different types of um, poster that they they used in the in the movie and what caught me the most is this because if you are a hardcore harry potter fan you would know that um when umbridge started to take over hogwarts like these are the the little um proclamations that they they put on the wall and i was thinking it would be nice if i get can get like a small frame and then put it on the wall. It will be. It will look like what they did in the movie. Mm. Um, but yeah. So there's also like wanted posters and a propaganda, yeah, um, propaganda fly outs uh, and the famous like "Have you seen this wizard?" This also a desirable number one poster. 10 gallon, uh, 10,000 10 gallons, gallons on his head. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it, it, it's really nice. They actually have a lot of other postcards that you can get to, but then, um, you know, it's not cheap. This one cost 2,480 yen. Yikes. But look at the sheer volume but of like if the... you there's like I think four or five types. If you buy all of it, then yeah, prepare to shell like, up. That's like 10k worth of of things. Yeah. So that that's the thing. Um, and then the last thing I got is the poster of the. Actually, this is the map of Hogwarts. Oh wow! Okay, I'll hold the corners. You help me hold the others. So that's the poster. This is the map of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So you can see where Hogwarts is, and also the Quidditch and the Hogsmeade. Yeah, I thought the Black Lake was on the back. I didn't know it was on the front. It is the back. Eh. Ah, so, well, so, so, so. depends on how you look at it, right? But yeah, so that's the map. This is beautifully done. So that's what I got from Mina Lima. All this in total. I don't want to tell the price. <laughs> it's, ouch! It's quite high. It's ouch. <laughs> Well, it, you know, it does have some quality to it. I mean, like, uh, they built the brand around it, so yeah, it's really well done. And then, and then yeah, the other stuff that we got on that day too was 
uh, we these guys. We went to Denden Town, and mm. then um, we got the Kata for Genshi. Genshi. So this is volume two of their mini fix. So, so that's six, six of them. We actually got some doubles in here, but um. Doubles is in the other. The doubles are. We actually locked up pretty well in catching these guys. We only had a, um, three, three doubles. doubles of um, two, two, two doubles of Chi Chi, Chi, -Chi and, and one, one double, double of Ganyu. Also, stuff that I bought from um, oh, Denden Town as well is this. Uh, I bought a new. Konoha head plate because I left mine back in Hong Kong and this one's pretty nice because of the fact that um oops like the one that I had back in Hong Kong it was actually like riveted into the cloth but this one if you wanted to wash the cloth you can remove it via velcro which is pretty nice Yeah, this is pretty nice. I wish they did that for the first one too, so I could have washed it, but like, you know. I mean, this one's nice. Yeah, for any hardcore Naruto fan like myself. That means they still make it. Yeah, they, they're still making it, actually. Oh, where's the plastic for that? And then I also got this reflective keychain. Uh, we'll help do close up of this one later. It's actually um, reflective when you hit it with the light, so it's nice when you're using it at night time. It's in the shape of and, the. And the fact that, like, when we got it, mm. it has no price tag. Yeah. And we were, we were planning to, you know, pay some good money for it. And then ended up, it only cost 100 yen. <laughs> yeah, it was only 100 yen. <laughs> I was like, what? I think they included it in some drinks before. Yeah. Probably. Okay. But you know, those those are the good things that about like when you go to those kind of places, they sell the stuff that, that is not in circulation anymore. So it's nice to like just go like item hunting. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So, so that's it for day, day one? one. Day two, we pretty much just scoped out the place, so we didn't really do much. No. The only thing that we have for day two is this, which is the butterbeer. Butter beer. The sleeve of the butterbeer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, because um, we were thinking that like, we had two days of um, pass for the USJ, and then I was thinking before when I told Bullin this that we wanted to get more merch from the Super Nintendo World because um, at that day we had a hard time like getting in. We couldn't get in. Yeah, we couldn't basically. get. In. I think I was explained in the. Yeah, if you watch the vlogs, you know what mm -hmm. happened. Exactly, exactly. All right, so moving on to the day two of USJ, mm -hmm. we finally bought some stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. Pretty I much the first thing we bought was the hat. Yes, the hat. Yes, yes, the hat, the hat. Oh my god, I love, love this hat. So, um, while we were waiting for the entry time for Super Nintendo World, we went to... Um, um, Wizarding World. To play with the, the wand. Yeah, we bought our wands. We didn't buy new wands this time because they didn't yeah. really have anything new. And um, I don't know why you didn't buy any new wands though. I thought you You're wanted... the one who said don't buy any. I wanted you to kind of explore, well, I guess. They all function the same, we just... I wanted the, the, the other ones, but you know, it, it is a lot of money that we, we've been spending already, so... Oh yeah, we got the, the sorting hat. So, um, this guy saw somebody else wear it along the way. On day one? But, uh, on day one, yeah. So, we were like, oh... I guess we can still see if we can get it and then we went into the clothing shop and we saw it on display but honestly at the time I wasn't sure that they are selling it 
mm-hmm. but um, we flipped the the hat around and then found the p- price tag for it. Yeah. So we bought it. <laughs> yes. Excellent choice for buying me the sorting hat. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. So that day, he'd been like attracting. Attracting a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah. Just because of this hat. Just because I was the only one who was wearing it that whole day. And like, we we're saying if we have like 1,000 yen from everybody that said something about his hat, we'll be rich. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> almost every time when we go somewhere uh, and it walk past the staff or like guests, guests. They they would all comment on his hat and saying like, oh my god, you got you got the big hat or you, like, wow, that's a nice hat you got and like, what do you hear inside, like wearing this hat and stuff like that, like people who are more into the Harry Potter world, they would say stuff like, are you are you sorted? So which house are you in? Kind of thing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And then I remember there was this one staff was like was asking me that too. Like she said like, oh, you should like show what um what house you were in. And at the time we were wearing our Harry Potter um yeah. sweater, and then I wanted to show it off, but it was too cold. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I really like this hat though because um there's some wires in between um in within the brim, so you can actually like like bend it around to to shape it. Yeah, but like it's it's not a good thing to wear if it's windy because yes, it yes. flew quite a few times. Yes, yes. And this rim is like super big, so like the wind get caught and then shoo, and then it, exactly. it flies. And there's also a wire that runs in between this side over here. So if you want to control like the bend as well for this one to give him like that that kind of like you know that sorting look. Yeah, sorting hat look. That's nice. I just wish they put one in here as well, so you can actually like control the brown and this part as well too. Yeah, like the whole time that we were there, I was trying to like flip it down because that's how usually they look like. Yeah, he's always like scowling around. Yeah, you haven't worn your sorting hat, lah. The the problem with my head is I I have a really big head and it's hard to fit. Okay, keep wearing it to us in the video. Go ahead, go. Seriously? Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. So that's the first thing. Mm. Then afterwards, um, finally we got managed to get into Super Mario. Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World. We ran straight to get this, this guy. This guy is a popcorn holder, if you haven't watched our vlogs, but um, the inside you can open it and then um, they have the peach caramel popcorn mm. in there it was a pretty good flavor honestly um, but yeah we, we ran in there to, to get this because we saw people wearing this like in and out the whole day yet yeah, on, on the first day on the first day that we we didn't manage to get in and then um, so you can remove the face like this, and then there's a button at the back. You press it, then oh. it will this light up. Yeah, it lights up. Yeah, you can see it, guys. And then if you press again, it will blink. Yay! It's actually pretty bright. It uses um two, three triple A batteries and then to you use. Press that. again, it will stop. Turns off. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. Uh, this is actually one of the two designs that they have uh, that are available in the popcorn stand. The other one being the Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. Yeah. Um, we opted to go for this instead because it looked like something else more. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a big fan, fan of Mario Mario. Kart. Mario uh-huh. Actually, I don't. Really I'm hoping they release new ones in the future, not just like the other star. I'm pretty sure they will. Fireflower would be nice, or like the piranha plant. Yeah. Or, or the pipe. Yeah, the pipe like would be Mario nice. Like with Mario inside the pipe or something. Yeah. But yeah, this this um, star shape 
this area is a good area for, for popcorn. <laughs> so people sometimes will bring the this box back and uh, back to USJ and then they'll use it to just to get popcorn. Mm. But um I don't think I will bring this back. <laughs> I think I'll buy an, a second one. Now. Yeah, I'll buy another one. one. Yeah. Or whatever <laughs> new design they might have. But yeah, the star one is like pretty much the classic. And then afterwards we walked around and saw Start. also um, people wearing the mushroom. Yeah. The, this one's mine. The red one is Pope's. The green one is mine. Yeah. So basically you paid the money to get this thing. Um, but the inside is actually uh, soft drinks. So he got orange juice and I got uh, kelpis on the day. But when you open it, <laughs> it, totally it really the image. it really ruins your 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 <laughs> your imagination. Yeah. It's just like and then really realize that mushroom boy is gonna be so long. Yeah. But it's really well designed though, like it it turns exactly the mo um the amount of rotations it's needed to make sure the the face is always correctly oriented. Yeah, that, that's a good part. So that's uh, they really did a good job designing this. I think um, it's also pretty much um leak proof, except if you don't turn it like upside down, because like there's a hole over here too. Uh, it's trying to let it breathe when you 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 suck. The yeah, juice uh, that's up. pretty much like uh to equalize the pressure for the air so yeah. that you can keep um drinking from it. But yeah, I like the mushroom. I like this one. I especially like also the designs on the the strap. Yeah. So in the end we got all three colors of the strap. Mm. So the star one has the red red, red strap and then the yellow and the blue. Mm -hmm. So that's that's everybody. Nice. I really like these kind of like small um, stuff, like to make the enjoyable uh, experience more enjoyable when you go there. Yeah. Then the next thing we got is this, the power up bin. Power up bin. So, in case you still don't know, around Super Nintendo World, there's a lot of interaction. Um, places so there's like question mark block blocks and um, normal break blocks that you can hit or punch up so that like you can gain coins with it so if you download the app from the USJ then you can actually use this band to collect coins and then it's kind of like a mini game that you can you can play um, the good thing about this is that it goes around your wrist so it's like those um, I don't even know what it's called but uh, basically it's um, a band with an NFC tag on the inside and it keeps track no, of I'm talking about how like it flips around Oh, oh, like I, those. Um, I don't know how it's uh, I think in the 90s they're called like a slap band or something. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wraps you, around like that. It's just a metal. Mm -hmm. And then it pretty much just goes on your wrist like that. It's good for kids and adults as well, so you don't have to worry about like the sizing wise. But uh, the funny thing is because, well, I'm not that tall. Oh. And um, <laughs> the good thing is that this is always straight unless you put too, like a lot of pressure on it so what I observed other kids doing is that when the block is too tall you can just use it as a stick and then poke, it. <laughs> poke it like that because the NFC is still in there yeah. and they will still recognize that you're, you're punching it yeah. so <laughs> we've been doing it like this <laughs> <laughs> Instead of putting it on on the and arm and then it. actually punching it, yeah. So normally you do this, but um, instead I did that. <laughs> so this one keeps in track using the QR code and then uses it syncs with the app that's available 
through the USJ and then you know you can keep track of the yeah. the coins that you collect around the area and it's also like an interactive map in there too and then um, they also have some limited time edition um, stickers depending on the time that you go to USJ yeah so I guess that's where it really comes into play if you buy the year pass because um, oh yeah then some of can. the stamps are only available during that time and then you have to wait for another time for them to come out as well so yeah. it's a really good um, product that they included to enhance your experience there too so in that, Super Nintendo world. Yeah, that world is really something different. Yeah. I really like it. I think it's the next generation of, of amusement park, I guess. Yes, yes. But um, actually, before we got into Nintendo world, this is one of the things that we got because I was so freaking cold. Um, we got the question mark blanket to go around me. Um, yeah, it just just push it up. We yeah. just need to flip, pull, yeah. and then inside out. You'll get the whole gist of the best blanket. Like it. it's actually pretty big. Oh my god, it is huge. It was able to wrap your body. Yeah. And it has all the stuff that might come out from the question mark. Well, from the classic one anyway, because um, they have like the coins, the one-up mushroom, fire flower. Uh, not these though, not the, the shells. Stars. Yeah, superstars. Yeah. Coins. And the coins, not the shells. And though. Yoshi egg. Yoshi egg. I didn't know they had like a Yoshi egg. Coming. Can they get Yoshi egg from the question mark box? I don't, I don't know. remember. I don't remember. I Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, because um. Dang, I, I haven't really played a lot of like... I haven't played Mario for Mario a while. For a long. I'm just gonna put this away over here. After like having so much fun in there, mm. it's like the day went past really fast after we got into Super Nintendo World because you're trying to line up to hit the blocks, you're trying to line up to, to get and get a special key to, to go in somewhere. Um, in the end, we didn't get the key. We did. We got one. Oh, we got one. One only there. One only. So then, by the time we uh, lined up for the for the ride and came back out, it's already time that the park is gonna close. close. So we were rushing definitely Buying when stuff. we when we tried to last minute shop. So. One thing that we got oh, is this one. Ah, oh, yeah. It's this this one. This is another question mark block that I got because it's so cute. Um, you thought it's just a question mark block, but if you open it, there's a zipper on the bottom, and then you flip it on the other side. You kind of just move it around, flip it around, and close it. Mm. Then you'll see it's a star. Yeah. This this is like what I call a good design. Uh, yeah. So I was super happy with this. Just like that. Yeah. You got a star. You just need to like squeeze the beads to the to the side so that it fits to the to exactly, exactly. But yeah. And it's a, it's a very nice like cushion. It's like beans in in there mm -hmm. if you can hear it. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just it's super to touch nice. Because um, the moment that you got this, I haven't been able to touch it actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I'm pretty much a sucker for anything that is star and question mark shape yes because afterwards um the next thing i i grabbed is the star shape tape holder that comes with two kinds of um washi, washi tape so it's both star and also all the stuff that you can see in the mario work mm -hmm. i'll do close up store yes. then afterwards I also grabbed uh, the pierced set of this. 
so we have a fire flower, the star, question mark block, uh, turtle shell, the red turtle shell, green turtle shell, and the uh, power up mushroom. This is pretty nice. It's so one, two, three, four, five, up uh, six. So if you want to like mix and match it for your both of your piercings, this is nice. So I wanted to get a new um, IC card. IC card holder for the longest time. Mm. And <laughs> at the beginning, I was gonna get the mushroom, the big mushroom IC card. But then uh, Pope was saying that this is actually nicer because inside the question mark, I don't know why they keep matching the question mark with the star only. But if you open it, inside there's a star too <laughs> <laughs> i guess it's more like to um really stick with that motif of you know unlimited play you know? <laughs> yeah i really like the lining on the inside too ah uh, yeah the, and the inside is like coins yeah so ended up i got this one instead of the mushroom because yeah. um the mushroom is quite big and thick too mm. so i'm gonna use this for my like outings, like special outings. Yeah. Oh, you can't remove the strap though, so you have yeah. to wear it like you know on your neck. So then, the next thing is what he bought. Oh, yo, shush! I really love this. That's the one that he wanted. I really love this one. It's a boo pen. So basically, there's a me mechanism inside, and if you press it down, it sounds like the laughter of boo. You hold it down and the, the thing lights up. Does it wait. have battery? It does have battery over it. No, wait. Oh, yeah, um, the yeah here. over here, over here. So it, it, it requires a small, like. I think it's an LR44 battery. It's like the required. ones that you put in the watch. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's so cute. I wish they colored it differently, though, instead of like purple. Like. Well, but that's like how it usually is. Something. And I wish it's not just I wanted the king boo. Um, Would be much more iconic. But yeah, this is nice. I really like it. I don't think I'll be using it as much though, because there's not much ink in this bad boy. And I'm kind of worried how I'm going to be refilling it. So, okay, what else you got there, love? Then the next one is I was like, I, I've been eyeing this, and I was like, we already two, got two mushrooms. Looms, yeah. Should we get this one too? But, um, yeah, it's too nice to pass up. And Pope was like, just get it! <laughs> yeah, just just get it, you know. So this is a golden mushroom. Oh my god. And we can see ourselves. <laughs> oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. There's, there's like stickers on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it? Ta-da! So it's basically the same size as you get if you get the, the yeah. drink. Except it doesn't have like a hole on the top where you have to drink from. So what is inside? Oh, oh shoot. Okay. It's not the same way that you <laughs> open the drink. Yeah, because you can see it, there's a seam line over there. So this one, it opens from the bottom ah, and... and it's... Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Golden. Oh. Corn chocolate. Oh, they actually have different patterns too. Some of them are like the fire flower ones. Mm, mushroom. Oh, they're chocolate ones. Okay. I think there's like three kinds. Oh, wow. Ah. Okay, 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 show me what you got. Okay, I have like the coin coin. Yeah. That's a coin coin too. Yeah. And then the flower, I think flower that's coin. It. That's the, 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 the How many of them are in there? 60, 60 points. points. Nicely done. I really like it. So the inside is actually quite shallow. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite sha shallow to fix. Put them all in. I don't know what we're gonna do once we finish all, eating all of this. But from the smell of it, it's more like confectionery type of chocolate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not like the nice, nice. milk chocolate type of chocolate. But nonetheless, it's a nice collection. Try one. You wanna try one? Taste test. Go on. Bite the half. How is it? Yeah, boy. 
Yeah, it's not milk chocolate, definitely. But it's not the yucky kind. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's not as milky as milk chocolate. We definitely don't compare it with like the mint or Godiva. Mmm. But it's not too bad. Definitely better than a Hershey's bar. Really? Mmm. The Hershey's bar is a bit more bitter. This one doesn't have that bitterness to it. It's a bit uh, more mellow. I don't know if you guys know, like there's those kind of like really yucky ones that you eat during Chinese New Year. Where it's all bitter? No, it's not bitter. It just have a very weird artificial taste to it. Yeah. So this one's better than this one is not bad. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna throw that. You gonna throw that? You wanna keep it? It's... Can you keep it? I don't think so. Wow. So that's one less coin. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. And then the last minute stuff that we also bought is the I wanted to go back to Harry Potter. Like the Wizarding World, but we spent too much time. We didn't really so have time, so the only thing that I got, or more like, there's nothing much new that I really want from there. Mm. So the next thing I got was the mask. Cloth mask. So one is Gryffindor, one is a shark, which he requested. <laughs> yeah. And then I also got a Gryffindor pin. This this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll probably put it on my on my rope. Yeah. Uh, should I put these back? Yep. Yeah. And the last thing that I I really was struggling to and think if I should really really get it. Because I don't really know what to do with it afterwards. Is this? This is a jewelry case that's shaped like um, the golden stitch. Yeah. Oh wow. Look at this. See the bubbles. Well, it can't be avoided. It's like only like plated. It's not like you know. But yeah. So it really opens at the close. Oh, there's a magnet. Yeah. Can you see? And the wings. I wish the wings were kept silverish. I like wish the wish. wings are actually like hardened and, and you know, Not flying. Crazy. Instead of this. <laughs> That's why I wanted that you looks to. That so sad. I wanted you to get the wind up one. That one would flap around if you. Yeah, but that one is just plastic, so yeah. I don't really like it. Then we went back to Den Den Town on, on the last day. day Cause I wanted to look at stuff And I found out some bargain transformers So this one I found for just about 1,650 yen Cause normally they sell these for about Oof, I don't know, 8,000 ish yen if you're gonna buy it. The only drawback to that is that it doesn't come with a box and it doesn't come with instructions. So actually, fortunately enough, there's a big community on YouTube that does um, reviews for the Transformers. So I'm, I was able to find like how to transform it. It actually came to me in um, robot form. So this is the Bumblebee Battle Axe Edition. And then I found the um, Optimus Prime Evolution Dual Pack So these are supposed to be in one set Like so And then this is um, from the War for Cybertron series The game actually from the PlayStation So I got these two From Den Den Town I'm a big um, Transformers fan as well. I actually have a couple of masterpiece Transformers left back in Hong Kong, but um, I wasn't able to bring it because you know they're pretty big. 
but uh, I wanted to keep collecting and it's kind of hard to find these anymore so locked out finding these yeah and it's cheap too and it's really cheap too they they sometimes have like these kind of sale mm. the ones that like people resell um but they don't have the box anymore or they don't have the instructions anymore then they will sell it in a lower price oh yeah. oh my god <laughs> it's just had a landslide <laughs> Fortunately enough though, like these evolution pack came in with the instructions for that, so nice. Yeah. Nice. And then uh oh actually this is from day one. Never mind. Um the next thing I got is actually this one, which um I already have the rest of the Sailor Moons. The the rest of the characters. This is the last one that I need and I found it in those type of um glass display shops where you need to fill in the numbers mm -hmm. um it's only for 500 yen so yeah. i couldn't pass it so that's what i got yeah. and the last thing the last minute bye bye it was this pudding the osaka cheese pudding that yeah. we bought Bridge the cotton. So there's a funny story behind this, why we got the pudding. If you guys saw from our previous um, Osaka adventures, we normally get a particular pudding that you can only find in Totomburi. But because it was the, the first of the year. Um, the year, that shop was actually closed. So we were really bummed that we didn't get it. So we went to the souvenir shop and got these instead. Oh wow, these are really nicely done. Yeah, so the good thing about these, they're individually packed. But yeah, this one comes with um, Caramel Crush powder. Oh wow, really? And there's like um, paper spoons that comes along with it too. Oh uh, yeah. So if you want to eat it on the go. Mm -hmm. And the last thing that we actually bought and we already ate is the cake. <laughs> I did take a video. Take a video of it, so we'll show you right now. Cake. Let's see what this cake is all about. Buddha bought some cheesecake from Osaka before we boarded it. Oh my God! Look at that fluffy boy. Oh crap! He I think you need to put it on a plate, plate. He has a thing under. Mm. Is that beans? No, uh, I think it's raisin. It is very fluffy, very light. It has a much more stronger egg taste initially. Then you get that hint of the cheese. But it's more airy. Mm. Is it a good cake? It's pretty good. But I think it does it doesn't have that much impact though. Maybe. Mm. I like it. It's not too rich. Because sometimes cheesecakes are too much. Mm. That is one thing I can say about it. And yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much our haul for the Osaka. That trip. was everything that we got. And please don't ask how much money we spent. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna be working hard. Um, you know, like uh, this is the first trip ever since. Covid, COVID hits, so we did went quite crazy on it. But um, no regrets. No regrets. Yeah, honestly. you know, I, I love it. I love everything that we. Because you know, we work hard, so we might as well play hard. You know, it's it's these kind of small moments that you go for, especially when we're having like such trouble times with the COVID. So you know, guys, 
there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's Super Nintendo World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, you know. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, so hope you guys liked it and peace out. Yeah. Stay safe guys. Whoa! <laughs>